An unsaturated solution is one that can dissolve more solute at current conditions. So a saturated solution is one that cannot dissolve more solute at current conditions. The solubility of the solute has been reached. So a supersaturated solution is one where it contains more solute than should be able to be dissolved at current conditions. Here is a supersaturated solution of sodium acetate. You can see it looks like any other solution. Everything in there is dissolved even though it shouldn't be able to be at these current conditions. If we add just a small seed crystal into the solution, that gives a place for the ions to grow off from that crystal. And all of the dissolved ions will come out of solution, pretty rapidly too. It looks as if the solution is freezing, and in fact, some videos out there on the internet call this hot ice. But the solution is not freezing. Instead, what's occurring is the solute that was dissolved in there is precipitating out, growing off of that crystal. It's called hot ice because it does release some heat when this happens. Now let's take a closer look at what's really happening here. This is a solubility curve for sodium acetate. And it shows you how much you can dissolve at different temperatures in 100 grams of water. At room temperature, 20 degrees Celsius, we can put in a certain amount of sodium acetate until we reach that purple line. Then we've dissolved all that we can. We've reached the solubility of sodium acetate for that temperature. We'll have a saturated solution. Now if we heat up that solution, as we increase the temperature, the solubility also increases. So we'll be under that curve again. Close to boiling, we can fit in a lot more sodium acetate. So we can reach that higher solubility because of the higher temperature. Once we've got a saturated solution, some solutes, and sodium acetate's very good at this, can actually stay in solution as the solution cools. And so we can get into this uncharted territory of super saturated solution and have a solution that contains more solute than it should be able to at room temperature. Now these solutions are very unstable and you can see as I take this one I can shake it around and if I shake it violently enough I can get that solution to break. I can get the solute to come out of solution. It's a pretty rapid process and it's kind of amazing to watch. Now there's many ways that you can get the solute to come out of solution, but I thought I'd try a more artistic approach. Thank mm -hmm. you. 